Okay, I want to call your attention to two dimes that I have. The first dime is a 1964 D. I paid two dollars for it. And the next dime is a 1965 and I paid 35 cents for it. They're both FDR dimes. I would say they're both extra fine. Well, you might say that the 1964 is a tiny bit better than 1965, but I would say they're about the same. So why is one of them worth $2 and the other one's only worth 35 cents? Well, because the 1964 dime is 90% silver. The 1965 dime is base metal. And that's what's really gone up in price, is the base metal. Now you might say, well, the 1965 dime is worth four times as much as it was. And the 1964 dime is worth 20 times. Well, I can find a lot of people who will give me money for the 1964 dime, but if you wanted to sell the 1965 dime, you'd probably find that most people aren't interested in buying that one. The reason that I do the comparison is so you see that the real value in the dime is the amount of silver it has in it. The 1964 dime is 90% silver. Now back in 1964, I could with that dime buy a candy bar. And if I were to take this dime back to the coin shop, I'm sure he'd give me two bucks for it. It's worth more than that. And not only that, would he give me the two bucks, he would also have a smile on his face because let's face it, Silver's gone up quite a bit in price. And uh, when I bought this dime, you know, in 2009, silver was only $15 an ounce, and now it's like $30 an ounce. And I know for a while it was like $45, but it, went, it dropped back down some. So uh, I didn't buy it that long ago, but I think it's well worth the money. And what I'm trying to tell you is, if you were to go back to 1964, you could buy, with this dime, a candy bar. Now, if you were to sell it now, at a coin show up, you could probably have enough to buy two or maybe even three candy bars. So you see, silver holds its value. And it's not because it's rare, because it's not that rare. It's because it has silver in it. That's what makes it valuable. And the other dime is not that valuable. In fact, I would go as far as to say this dime right here, the 1965 dime, you probably have a hard time finding anybody that would want to buy it from you. The only reason that I bought it was because I wanted to do a little comparison. Just one year of difference and there's a tremendous drop in what you can get for the dime. And that's because one of them has silver and the other one doesn't. And I didn't want people to say, oh, it's because it's old. No, that's not the reason. They're both almost the same age. They're all, both almost 50 years old, but one of them is worth a lot more because it has silver in it. The other one doesn't have silver, it's made out of base metal, and it only has a little bit of nostalgic value, so it's not worth that much. Now, as you can see, with 35 cents, you cannot buy a candy bar. Well, not a big one anyway. And with 10 cents, for sure you can't buy a candy bar. So your money has lost a lot of its value. But silver has managed to hold on to most of its value. And that's why I recommend that people look at silver as a potential store of value.